Hello and welcome to Glenbard West High School. This presentation will support your students' transition to high school and provide you essential information for the freshman year enrollment process. Throughout this video, we hope to prepare you for the course selection meetings with your counselor to finalize class choices at Glenbard West. School counselors serve a variety of needs within the high school. Within our progressive curriculum, we will work with your student throughout their four years to choose classes, plan for their post-secondary goals, research careers and college majors, and provide support to your student's academic and social-emotional needs. To access your school counselor, you can call or email them through the information provided on the Glenbard West website or refer to the contact info below this video. When attending West, your student will be able to make appointments by signing up inside the school counseling office, emailing or messaging their counselor, or just talking to them in the hallways. This information will be reviewed with them again at freshman orientation in the fall. Each year, school counselors are assigned alphabetically by last name, prioritizing maintaining relationships with families to the best of our ability. School counselors, deans, school social workers, and school psychologists work in teams to provide support and communicate regularly regarding students with unique situations, especially problem-solving solutions if they are struggling. This communication allows us to best serve the needs of all students. Please be aware of these important dates for incoming freshmen for the rest of the school year. On January 11th, make sure you go online to view our 8th grade family night presentations. You will have the opportunity to learn about our curriculum, summer school enrichment opportunities, and the enrollment process. Video links from each department will be available on our website. Next, you should have received an electronic enrollment packet in your email from me. Jeremiah Winsek, which contains information on how to schedule an enrollment appointment with a counselor to finalize freshman year classes. These will all be done virtually via Zoom. Appointments are required and will be brief, about five to seven minutes long. In August, our mandatory freshman orientation gives our students a chance to get into the school, tour the building, and ask questions of our senior mentors. All incoming students will have the opportunity to spend a half day learning what to expect in high school, experience their first pep rally, and learn how to be successful at West. Please check on the District 87 website for a copy of the district calendar with important dates for the upcoming school year as they become available. PowerSchool is our main data management system. You should activate your PowerSchool account upon receiving your enrollment email. This will allow you to access and update all your students' records. Beginning freshman year, families will be able to see grades online, email teachers directly, and keep track of attendance and assignments as the school year progresses. Please see the links to tutorials below this video if you need assistance setting up your account. With Glenbard West's current schedule, students will begin school at 7.35 a.m. and end their day at 2.35 p.m. There will be eight periods in a day, which includes a lunch period. When students sign up for classes, they will either take six classes in a study hall or seven classes. Students need 23 total credits for graduation. Requirements for graduation are listed in the academic guidebook electronically on the Glenbard West website or on the enrollment worksheet. If you fill that paperwork to attend Glenbard West and have not yet received your enrollment email by the night of our eighth grade family night, please call our school counseling office to make sure you are on our list of incoming families. Glenbard West is a comprehensive high school. We have programs that connect students to a wide variety of post-secondary goals. For example, students interested in the trades can develop a plan to spend time at the Technology Center of DuPage, where they will develop hands-on skills and often garner credit at the College of DuPage while still in high school. Due to the fact that the majority of our students attend college after graduating, we are proud of our college prep curriculum that includes dozens of advanced placement classes, dual credit courses, and a variety of opportunities for students to challenge themselves academically. We have had tremendous success in getting students college credit and we take pride in what we offer for students. The enrollment email sent to incoming families includes recommendations for courses based on a number of factors. These recommendations are just that, recommendations. They're where we feel your student should be placed according to test scores, teacher recommendations, and a discussion with our department chairs. Although we use several data points in making these recommendations, we do understand that you know your student better than anyone. If you believe the class your student was recommended for is not the correct placement, you should have a conversation with current teachers and Glenbard West department chairs before finalizing choices with your enrollment counselor. 
We all want every student to be successful, so gathering as much information as possible helps us make the most informed decisions for choosing classes. Please be aware that moving out of classes once a student has been placed in them isn't always guaranteed, but we do our best to accommodate the level change. Your student may have PSAT and or MAP scores that have been used in the recommendation process. PSAT scores can be accessed online through College Board by creating an account. If you don't already have one, as mentioned earlier, a test score is only one factor used in determining recommendations. The incoming freshman enrollment worksheet that you see here will be included in the email you receive. As you fill out your freshman worksheet, you may indicate classes in both first and second semester. Please refer to your specific course recommendations when filling out this form. This is only a draft and families will not be able to choose what classes run and what part of the year when it comes to semester long electives. Parents and families should discuss unique issues with your counselor so they can attempt to adjust courses in August for extenuating circumstances. Sometimes counselors will be able to accommodate the move of an elective or study hall at that time, but often we are restricted by the limitations of the master schedule and will be unable to change the course. There are several requirements that students must complete during their four years of high school in order to graduate from Glenbard West. Graduation requirements are specified in the academic guidebook online and on the freshman enrollment worksheet. But awareness of these courses early on can free up space during junior and senior years when students want to explore electives that connect to career pathways or college major choices. Students who want to take a study hall and transition from junior high can do so, but should be aware that they will have to cover certain graduation requirements in the future. Many students utilize our summer school program to address, address some of these courses, but it is not a requirement to take summer school to have a study hall within their schedule in high school. Please speak with your counselor if you have concerns about how to structure your student's schedule while addressing questions regarding course rigor, transition to high school, and other unique circumstances that might figure into developing a schedule for freshman year. Every student will meet with their school counselor annually to choose the courses for the following year. They will plan what their next school year will look like and help them in fulfilling their graduation and college admission requirements and discuss pursuing classes to prepare them for their post-secondary goals. Similar to what you see here, there is an example of a four-year plan in the academic guidebook online to help families in their planning for subsequent school years. Our most frequently asked questions are regarding pursuing the more rigorous honors courses. It's important to note that West school counselors don't know your student yet, and every student is unique in the rigor of courses they can effectively manage. We encourage you to consider the big picture by factoring in other commitments that are time consuming, such as sports, clubs, work, home responsibilities. Please keep in mind that your student is already being challenged with their transition to high school and balance is extremely important. So if you aren't sure about taking a higher level class in a particular area, then we'd recommend being conservative with the rigor at first. This can always be changed in the future. In determining the number of honors classes, if any, please refer to the second tab on the enrollment worksheet labeled Courses to view the amount of estimated homework for each of our courses. The recommendation made by department chairs, or the recommendations made by department chairs were made for each course individually. Your student may be able to handle one honors class by itself, but also may be overwhelmed by taking all four at one time. Our recommendation is to prioritize the classes you enjoy and are most passionate about when trying to narrow down those decisions. Please note that class changes will be limited by availability and must be relevant to the student's career pathway goals. In essence, all class decisions will receive priority before February 1st. Any changes after this time will be limited unless the student takes a course in summer school that would affect current classes or has a change in a recommendation level approved by a Glenbard West department chair. Counselors will try their best to be available for questions throughout the enrollment process. Note that counselors do have a full caseload of current high school students that they are working with as well, so we do appreciate your patience and we promise to do our best to give you as much time as possible in assisting you and your student in choosing classes. Here is a list of important links you can find below for your reference. A reminder that assignments for your enrollment sessions are alphabetical by the student's last name. If you have questions about where to go 
or who your enrollment counselor should be, please contact the administrative assistance in the emailed enrollment packet that you received. Your enrollment counselor contact information can also be found in your emailed enrollment packet, which is also linked under this video. Please note, your student's enrollment counselor may end up being different from their actual school counselor that is assigned when freshman year begins. Once students are assigned a school counselor at the start of freshman year, they will have that counselor all four years of high school. Thank you for watching. I hope this presentation provided you the necessary information to begin your student's transition into Glenbard West High School. Go West!